Okay, everybody, welcome back to our Scarlet Hand Let's Play. Today, I have our tabby cat on my lap, and he is purring very loudly. I don't know if that's going to come through, but occasionally he does like to wipe his nose on the microphone, so if you hear any weird noises, that's what that is. <laughs> Join the Discord for pics of our cat. A third detective joining us today. Yes, Mr. F. So where we last left off, Henrik got amnesia and started saying some crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, apparently, we were we were trying to jog his memory by showing him crime scene evidence, uh, the the scarlet hand that was left here at this display that was smashed, and said, "Do you know what it says?" We t we told him what it says, and he goes, "Actually, it says uh, this. I'm the one who wrote it." <laughs> yeah, and I love that Henrik. He doesn't remember his own birthday. He doesn't remember his family. But dang, does he remember Nancy Drew? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, that pain in the ass deputy curator. <laughs> Actually, he probably loves us because we replaced Sonny. Okay, so... Well, what do we do now? Uh, I think we, have to, we haven't talked to Joanna in a long time. This is true. Help, the task list is chopped off. The end game is coming soon. <laughs> There's nothing left to do. Maybe Franklin and Rose would have an update, but first I think we should check in with the good old, uh, Miss Riggs. Alright. We also need to make it to, uh... The third floor of the pyramid, too. This is true. There's a there's a maze game in there that we need like an admin password to access. Hey, Joanna. Need something? Uh, I need to show Henrik a photo of the Pakal carving. I need to show Henrik a photo of the Pakal carving. Mm. Do you have one? Check with Sinclair. Why would he? Ha oh, that's right. He's an art dealer. Okay. Well, we'll go visit him next. I did the chemical analysis you suggested. That red hand was printed with a compound containing mercury and sulfur. Does that mean anything to you? Sure, sure, cinnabar. Hmm. The Maya would rub it into their most important carvings to add definition to the artist's lines. Mercuric sulfide. Does the museum keep cinnabar around? We use cinnabar here at the museum the same way oh, the Maya cool. did, to keep things as authentic as possible. Henrik orders those kinds of supplies, but we've been out of stock for quite a while. The last I heard, there was some kind of holdup with the distributor. That makes Henrik look a little more suspicious if he wasn't already. I've yeah. got work to do. Carpe diem. Okay, so seize the day. I'm I'm curious. We could do two things right now. We could call the the supplier of Cinnabar, or we could go talk to Sinclair. Let's talk to Sinclair first. Okay. I like catching up with everybody. The big bunny. The big bunny. Oh, that's right. I can skip that screen. What a miserable high-rise with no windows. <laughs> Any news? I do I like the hard one, though. I need a photo of the Pakal yeah. carving. Do you mm. have one? Uh, Joanna took me. the official print for her insurance claim, but I have nope. a couple extras. Here you go. <laughs> I I'm oh, sorry. Oh, wow, that's convenient. Yes, thank you, thank you, Sinclair. Uh, the cat has discovered that we're using wired microphones, and now he's trying to bite them. And I pushed him away, and he bit my hand. Keep up the good work. Okay, yes, you can keep on teething on my fingers, Mr. Wait, Riff. what are we supposed to- Oh, we have to give that to Henrik. Yes, though. we're gonna put it on his memory board. Uh, the museum closes at four. We got plenty of time. At least they're closed to visitors at four. Okay. You mean the hospital closes at four? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I meant to say hospital. Oh, at least this guy- Oh, this, he's got a window, but they shutter it. That's gotta be miserable for an amnesiac. Okay. Uh, does that- does that instantly just give you any more flashbacks? Well, look who it is. Ready to do some memory work, Henrik? I brought you a picture. This will help you to remember. That face. He's as familiar as my own feet. Huh. Hmm. Do you know his name? Do you know his name? Pakal! Nancy, this is the stolen carving, isn't it? And I'm the one who took it! I must have. What?! But why?! Oh, Pakal! What could I have meant by this? Well, that's so Henrik just comes forward as the thief. Okay, but maybe there was a reason why he stole it. Uh, that would no, be this, a good one. This information has not left this room yet, because uh, he's obviously <laughs> struggling with something. <laughs> if you're remembering correctly, this is a serious crime, Henrik. You've got to tell me why you did it. I can't remember. No, we're going to get used to that line. Yes, we are. <laughs> Man, we, we gotta get face cam for episodes like this where we have cats with us. <laughs> Easy, Henrik. The answers are in your head. You just need to find them. It's still in the museum. Oh, okay. Really? Interesting. Well, that's a good lead, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure, Henrik? Did you plan to sell the Pakal on the black market? To protect him. I had to protect him. Oh, Pakal. Something is going on at that museum. A devious plot. I was the only one who could stand in the way. 
What kind of plot? I'll tell you what kind of plot. Someone was going to steal the Pakal carving, and it was you. <laughs> Whose plot is this? Is it someone who's involved with the museum? Forgive me, Nancy, but when I woke up in this hospital bed, I didn't even know my own name. But you Perhaps knew the name the of the only thing I can offer you Palenque. is this key. It was found in one of my pockets when I was brought in. Oh, hold up. He just He's giving us a key. Do you know what lock it belongs to? I haven't a clue. Take the key now, Nancy. Find out what it opens and return to me, please, with some answers. You can count on me, Henrik. In the meantime, I'll sit with my friend, Pakal, and see if he will tell me anything new. You must keep this to yourself for now. It's your only hope of getting to the bottom of this. And that key is awfully familiar. Yeah, that's one of the final scene keys, isn't it? Oh, Mr. F, are you... And he's gone. Okay. Or maybe not. Now he's sitting on top of the power strip. That's not very healthy, but okay. Uh, Henrik, I need to know where you put- oh wait, no, that's just pressing him. Do you know anything about Prudence Rutherford's necklace that was stolen? Do you know anything about the theft of Prudence Rutherford's necklace? I can't remember! Ah, oh, yes. Okay, uh, let's see if he remembers this. Henrik, I need to know where you put the Pakal carving. I don't know. Oh, he didn't Ooh. say- Can I- Henrik, we can, just, I we can say it again? <laughs> don't. Maybe Pakal he'll remember this time. Carving. I can't remember! Okay, he just, he's not going to. You rest up. I'll be back. I'll do my best. All right, I like Henrik. The, I like the diversity in his lines from I can't remember to I don't know. Yes, that's very diverse. One thing I'm curious, I'm curious what actual buildings were used that represent the locations. Yeah, I wonder if they had to like get the rights to use those buildings. Okay, into the laboratory. Um, let's see. First things first, I wanted to call Cinnabar place. No voicemail. Let's see. Soup. Go down. Preservation first. That might be them. Keep it real restoration. That's it. Mercuric sulfide. Do we have to do the 202? Probably not. 555-6766. Five, 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 six, six, seven, seven, six, six. Yeah. This isn't gonna work. You needed to. Oh, that's right. What is it, 9? Six, seven, six, six. All right. Keep it real. Max speaking. <laughs> oh, I remember this guy. I like he's, that intro. He's cool. Hi, I'm the new deputy curator over at Beach Hill Museum. I wonder if you could answer a couple of questions for me about our ordering history. Well, hello there, Beach Hill. Hey, you're not Sunny June. <laughs> Whatever happened to that guy? I suppose he caught a ride on a flying saucer, eh? <laughs> What a riot. Uh, what? I'm sorry. Anyway, you don't need to reorder, do you? Unless you ate last week's shipment for breakfast, that is. Wait, what? Very tasty. I thought we haven't been getting shipments. Yeah. Um, was the package shipped to the museum? Oh. So there hasn't been a holdup at the distributor or anything like that? Hold up? Oh, I don't know where you heard that. We've got enough mercuric sulfide in-house to sink a ship. <laughs> Do you know who placed that order? Well, the initials on the order are JR. Joanna Riggs? So she was lying to Why us? Why is she hoarding Cinnabar? She told us that we haven't been getting any, but apparently she ordered some last week. You're sure it was last week? Oh, that's what it says here. Hmm. Was huh. the package shipped to the museum? Uh... Oh? Oops, I guess we didn't ship it at all. Oh. It looks like the package was picked up here at the warehouse. Wait, what? But did Joanna pick it Can up? Can you remember anything about the person who picked up the package? Hmm. Uh, I sure can't. Guess I must have been at lunch or something. Damn. Well, thanks for your help. Sure thing. I hope there wasn't any problem with the stuff, was there? We only used a top-grade mercuric sulfide. Problem? Uh, not that I could hold you responsible for. Well, <laughs> you sound a little green in the chemicals department, if you don't mind my saying so. I hope you know that mercuric sulfide is highly toxic. Makes you crazy. <laughs> well, I have heard that mercury poisoning can cause hallucinations and other symptoms of psychosis. Oh, uh, uh, looks like I've got another call coming in here. You give us a call in about four months or so when you start to run out, okie doke? And don't forget to keep it real. <laughs> I like him. He's a pleasant phone call. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, back to business, though. Henrik gave us this key. I assume it was to his drawer? No, but there is... Wait. It's there's another desk something. over there. This desk? Yeah, it could be this. It's locked. Yep. Oh, perfect. Okay, Henrik. What do you keep behind locked doors? Oh. 
Hey, that's a flash drive. Or a, a floppy disk. We'll take that back to our place. Same key? That's Same key for all his drawers. Uh, it looks like an important book. Hiked with- 1972? 72? Whoa. Hiked with Big Bunny all day. Temperatures in the 100s. Water scarce, but Highland region is beautiful and pristine. Except for the bunnies' incessant commentary. Even spotted a quetzal flying amongst the branches. A rare treat. Symbolizes freedom and wealth. Tale highly praised by the Maya. 718. Hard rain last night. Shared tent with Big Bunny. Out of kindness. What does he eat? <laughs> Nearly suffocated. Are these Henrik's notes then? 722. Crossed paths with old shaman today. Eager for some relief from Big Bunny, accepted old man's invitation to eat. Old man, Vicente, gave us very strong tea, to which BB reacted negatively. He kept shouting, Bunny rabbits, flaming bunny rabbits. Return of... <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> What's he even oh, pounced on the... <laughs> Once he even bounced on the floor to try to catch one, but there was nothing there. Yeah, that's what it was. He got high. <laughs> it was like peyote or something. Vicente thought this was very funny. I nearly expired from embarrassment. T had no unusual effect on me. Oh my goodness, he has an afro. A very amused Vicente. This this looks like a different art style from Sunny June. I think this... Well, I it think... was dated all the way back to 1972. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Old man told us legend has it that the highlands are haunted by the spirit of Amux Kali. I understand most translated for bunny. I understand, I understood most translated for bunny. Here is legend as best as I could gather. At the height of Pakal's reign, a royal Maya scribe, Chiawapali Amux Kali, wrote an account of the Maya that somehow defamed Pakal's name. Amux Kali, the journalist, disappeared along with all traces of her work. The rumor was that Pakal banished the scribe and her writings to the far reaches of the netherworld. What? So he killed her. <laughs> Highland elders swear that Amex Kali has haunted these hills for centuries and will not rest with her until her writings are unearthed and her name is restored to dignity. Whoa. I've, I've That's never... a cool legend. I don't remember that, yeah. I've never read this story. Some way to fund my own studies. I wonder if I could stand it. 729. Travels today have been uneventful. Sun is hotter than ever. Tomorrow we return to base camp. Cannot wait to be rid of my companion. Suspect he is really a dog in bunny clothing. Sir Bunny the Garrulous. I guess we're to assume that was written by Henrik. I mean, if he, he had the key to this desk. Man, Henrik's pretty old then if he was doing that sort of thing back in 72. Translation notes. This looks like it's going to be pretty helpful, eventually. Similar to Wessinglyph, but with Death's face. Was a prisoner. Broken Earth, four corners of the world. Co of course. Fascinating. This kingly title, very familiar. Pakal, of course, but not like any I've seen. Where have I seen this before? Hmm. Copan emblem has been modified with a rabbit head, similar to the rabbit scribe. It's the big bunny. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Period and ink to the end of times. Hey, we took that with us. Oh, it's for his memory board, isn't it? Probably. His his glyph work. This looks old. This looks like... Number station. I think this might be the exact same textbook as the uh, the Mutus Liber from... It, it looks like a very similar cover. Yeah, it does, actually. Number stations. 2050. Oh, I remember this. This is one of my favorite puzzles in this game. 2050 Hertz transmits a series of five digits in Spanish, with each transmission starting with Atención, Atención. Una is one, dos, two, okay, that's that's literally just the numbers one through nine in Spanish. Decoding the numbers, write down the last three digits of the series and add a zero to it to get a four digit number. Oh. Add each of the original five digits and add the sum to the four digit number from the first step. This is the station that the smugglers will take messages on. Wait, what? This is this is for the ham radio then. Yes, it is. And apparently, yeah, it's about smuggler stations. Why Example, is Henrik working with smuggler stations? Maybe he's trying to break into them. Maybe he is a smuggler. Example: If the station number gives five six one two three, then the smuggler station is one two four seven. Okay, wait. I need to see it. I need to see the. The other page again, real the quick. The algorithm again. 
Yeah, this is this is complex. How do I back up? Hmm. Looks like I need to find someone who speaks Nahuatl. Oh gosh, I think we know that person. I think we do know that person. Password is the Nahuatl word for snake. Enter it in Morse code, and they'll confirm by voice. Then send a code word. Leche, milk. Send the item immediately. The coast is clear. Mujer, meet me at the rendezvous point. Sueno, don't find, don't send the item. The coast is not clear. Vacas, payment has been sent. Interesting. Yeah. I'm kind of getting like Antonio Fongo vibes from this. That. This is some Antonio Fongo level stuff. Yeah. Okay, well, there's some very interesting so, stuff that we wait, found Wait, this ham radio in this office is used to contact smugglers? Like the I, same smugglers that got Prudence Rutherford's thing? Possibly. Um, maybe they're working together. Ooh. Oh, man, that's almost creepy. I remember saying it a couple episodes ago. Ham radio, I believe, is one of the last forms of communication in the world that can't be traced. It only makes sense that it's being used by a smuggling cartel. Damn, saying shit like that makes me feel buy like a milk? voice. Wait, buy milk? Could that be leche? That could be a code, code word, actually, yeah. I, I remember we made fun of that earlier. Yeah. Maybe that maybe that is actually a, a coded is phrase. That, is that important? <laughs> could be. Chaco Canyon Culture. Sheila Schultz. Hey, here's a number we can call. And you know, it might actually be important because they got heisted, too. Yeah. You want to give them a try? Yeah, sure. 555-12222. Five, 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 one, two, 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 two. Two. Hang on, there's some other stuff over here, too. Oh, this, this is Morse. This is Morse code. Here, I'll go ahead and take a picture of this before we uh, need it. Because we will need it. Okay. Okay, 555-1222. Five, 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 two, two, two. And hopefully we will be speaking with Sheila Schultz of the Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. Nine. No, no, no. Yes, uh, start nine. Going to smash this phone. 555-1. Five, 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 What? You know... I didn't like that sound. Me neither. <laughs> like, a bomb was gonna go off. Uh, wait, let's check what's on the floppy disk, though. And we gotta talk to Alejandro Del Rio. We should probably con confront Joanna, too. Yeah, because... About the Cinnabar scandal. If we have anything we can say. <laughs> the Cinnabar scandal. Alright, Joanna. What's up? Come in. Need something? Uh, Looks like we can only ask her about, about this. It. Yeah. I need to know the Nahuatl word for snake. Any ideas? Afraid I can't help you there. Not even gonna ask why. I've got work to do. Semper ubi sabubi. Thanks, Joanna. All right. Um. Well, I guess we'll go visit uh, Alejandro. I was about to call him Heinrich for some reason. <laughs> what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not a sailor. The Mexican consulate. Hey, man. I need to know words. Can I have them? <laughs> Teach me. Buenos dias. I need to know the Nahuatl word for snake. Can you help me? What do you need that word for? <laughs> Just to broaden my vocab. <laughs> That's our word. <laughs> oh, I need it to send a message by ham radio. It's a long story. Now, if only I could remember the word for snake. Uh, I hear funny. you have been a great help to Henrik. I wonder if you can help me improve my memory, too. Where did you hear that from? Hmm. <laughs> What are you talking about, Alejandro? I am almost certain that the provenance documents for the Pocal carving were falsified. I have asked Joanna to see the documents, but she evades me. If you can find that file in her office and bring it to me, I think it might help my memory of Nahuatl a lot. Does this count as a bribe, or is it okay because he has diplomatic immunity? <laughs> Doesn't matter, because I'm going to do it anyways. First, you <laughs> tell me you were unconcerned about the theft of the Pocal carving, and now you have an urgent need to see the provenance documents? Is it just me, or is this a little suspicious? If I can determine that the provenance documents are a fraud, this will be the first major step toward legal repatriation of the artwork, whenever and wherever it resurfaces. Hmm. All right. Uh, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. I feel my Nahuatl coming back to me already. Do you know what Siwapili Ooh. means? Princess or lady. Now, if we just only saw that word, I could we? remember the word for snake. Was that just to flex on us, or is that important? Maybe. Uh, There's a lot to talk about. He already knows this, so I'm not even going to tell him. What is your stance on Alejandro? Do you like him or no? 
I like him as a character, but he looks kind of goofy, not gonna lie. Do you know what cinnabar is? The red powder that the Maya used? Sure, I know it. They use it at Beach Hill too, do they not? Cinnabar was used to make the red handprint that was left at the scene of the Pakal theft. What is your point? Joanna said the museum didn't have any, but the supplier said she ordered some last week. Have you mm. called the police? Oh, oh, real, real fast with that, aren't we? <laughs> I don't want to jump to conclusions. Of course. Sister Joanna couldn't possibly be a thief now, could she? You know, we still haven't called him out on his, even if I have to steal it with my own two hands. Yes, yeah, diplomatic immunity, Julian. That'd be rude. <laughs> have you heard? Henrik oh, Vanderhuis yeah. I want to see what he says to this. Because he He's already acknowledged this. With a mysterious head injury. That is terrible news. I <laughs> hope it's not too serious. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he has to say, even though he, he mentioned it already. Do you consider Henrik a conquistador, along with Joanna Riggs and Sinclair? Henrik is a student of my culture and my heritage. I'm not trying to buy and sell it. We <laughs> don't agree on everything. Buddy, have I got news for you? Baseball, but I have nothing against him. Especially not baseball. What does he even mean by that? I, I really don't know. <laughs> I should get back to the museum. Adios, Nancy. There's not been a single baseball reference in this game. <laughs> All right, uh, we were gonna... Let's stop Floppy by the... Floppy disk. Um, uh, it's like less than an hour before they close. I want to just put his notes on the board. No, oh, it's oh, closed. Uh, no, I don't think... Was it? Yeah. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m.? What time is it now? Oh, I, I read the little hand because I'm an idiot. Doofus. 